Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a symmetrical butterfly. First you're going to fold your paper in half the hamburger way. When you open it up, you'll see that there's a crease or a line there. That's going to be our line of symmetry. Remember when something is symmetrical, it's the same on either side, like a circle or square. Along that line of symmetry, I'm taking an oil pastel and I'm going to draw one half of a circle. This is going to be the butterfly's head. Eventually, when we're done drawing, we're going to rub over the paper so that the oil pastel prints on the other side. So here's what it looks like. And then next, I'm going to draw the thorax right below the head. Fill that in. Make sure the thorax and the abdomen, which is right here, another half circle, make sure those two are bigger than the head. Next, I'm going to make the antenna. Just drawing a curved line and then I'm going to make a little dot for the end of the antenna. Next I'm making a guide dot. This is going to be really helpful when we draw the wings. So starting at the top of the thorax, I'm going to draw a curved line until it reaches that guide dot. Make sure your lines are really thick. Next at the bottom of the thorax, I'm making a straight line, kind of stopping um, at the halfway point of that first line that we drew. And then I'm going to draw a curved line connecting the top and the center line. You could do just a curved line for this, you could do a straight line, but I'm doing a wavy line because that's my artistic choice. Next I'm going to draw another guide dot, making a diagonal line at the abdomen, making a curved line to connect it all together. Next, I'm going to draw a parallel line, so I'm making a line that's identical to the edge of the butterfly wing. I'm doing this because it kind of just divides up the wing a little bit, and it gives us that monarch butterfly pattern. So monarch, bu monarch butterflies, they have this, these like really thick black lines on their wings, and so that's what we're creating here. Again, breaking up the wing with some diagonal lines and then some lines at the edge. Again, you want to make sure your lines are really thick so that they print really nicely on the other side of the paper. Once my one half of the butterfly is finished, I'm going to close my paper and start rubbing. You could use a piece of cardboard for this. Um, but I'm just going to use my fingers and rub over that really well so that we can see it and it'll show up on the other side. So once it's done, open it up. It's a little faint, but we're going to go ahead and color that in with our black pastel. Once that is finished, I'm going to use some orange white and yellow pastels to color in my butterfly. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks here. So here I'm just coloring in some sections orange and then if you want to make that orange a little bit lighter you could just go over it with a white pastel. Next I'm going to do a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow and when I add the yellow if I want to blend them together I'm just going to go right over that orange and you can also use a white pastel to kind of help blend the two colors together as well. Be very careful when coloring because the black pastel can smudge very easily. I'm just going to go ahead and color the rest of this in and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Something that I find really helpful when coloring with oil pastel is to use a paper towel and um, kind of just make my hand not smear the pastel so much. It also prevents my other hand from getting too messy. I'm also using the paper towel to kind of clean up my pastels. This is what it looks like when I'm all finished. Now I'm taking a white oil pastel and I'm drawing some shapes, lines, and designs in the background. Now we can't see them, but when we paint over the background, it's going to create what's called a oil or wax resist. So I'm taking some blue paint. You don't have to use blue. You can use whatever color you want. And once I paint over 
that oil pastel, my design is going to appear. The reason why it does that is because oil from the oil pastel and water from the watercolor paint don't like each other. They don't like to mix. So when the water goes over the oil pastel, it pushes it away. And then we have our design show up. I'm gonna finish this up and then come back at the end. Here's my finished butterfly. I hope, I hope you have lots of fun with this project.